have a little mini haul for you because I went out to get a yarn needle because somehow between moving a hundred times, like, yeah. Ruining my life, moving, 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 and moving. How many times did I move? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, seriously, it was bad. Moving every, oh, and then that doesn't even count the time in Illinois. Um, yeah, moving and moving. I somehow lost a little plastic yarn needle. Go figure. Who does that? So I went to get this. And then I wanted to get um, a smaller plastic crochet hook. Because I don't let you take metal ones as carry-on. Um, and I find flying to be even more agitating than shopping. And crocheting helps calm me. Um, so I had an eye needle, an, a size eye, but I'm making coasters and I need a smaller crochet hook. I need a plastic one. So I got these. Unfortunately, the colored set was like, I don't know, three times as much. So I decided to just get the white one. Ooh. So then, since I was at Joanne Fabrics, I decided to get colored thread because I have a button to sew back on a shirt and a button to sew back on another shirt and I don't have the color threads that I need to do that. Not that I'm very excited about doing mending but since it's going to be winter um, and I'm kind of like antisocial, don't want to spend money on anything at all ever for any reason or drive anywhere at all for anything, for any reason, it just, it causes negative emotions in me, and so I'm going to avoid it. Um, I'm, I'm done being social, I don't have time or money really to do anything other than to film YouTube videos and go buy stuff that I've been putting off buying for months. Um, so those things were from Joann's, and that cost $10. Russell, 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 Russell. So, I went to Michael's first because really all I wanted to get was the yarn needle. So this is a size 13 and the other ones are size 16. So I'm not sure really what size is going to work best and I got all steel ones instead of plastic ones. They're pretty much the same price so why get plastic when you can get metal? Unless you're flying on a plane. Mm, yeah, so that was not very brilliant of me, but I uh, wasn't thinking of that. So I, I guess I'll... <sighs> Flying just sucks balls. So I guess I'm going to have to like go to Walmart or Michaels or Joann's again before I fly. Or find a pattern that I don't need to sew with, which is probably easier than going shopping again. And then I got a size F crochet hook, um, a metal one, because I prefer to use the metal ones, and the smallest one I have now is a G. And then, this is why shopping's evil. They have this mason jar lid um, with green rhinestones, so I thought that would be cute to put on top of my smoothie jar for work. And I think it's the size that fits on the, um, like, small mouth quart jars, so that should be cool. So that was $4.05 for that. Then I had a $10 off your purchase of $10 or more coupon. So I got this sweater at JCPenney's. It was originally, like, 30 some dollars maybe the tag tells me. Uh, $36 and I got it for with the coupon uh, after they took that off it was like $10.70 because it was on sale for $19.99 it is just acrylic and cotton you know of course if you want wool you'll be spending your entire you know paycheck and if you don't have any discretionary income 
because you're a dumbass and you went to college, um, then, you know, your wool is pretty much out of the question for you until you're in your 70s, but that's okay because, you know, you have that piece of paper that says you're smart. And then, finally, um, I went to Sephora, so I didn't actually, well, I kind of got what I went to get, <laughs> so, um, I'm very, very low on the acne clearing solution, um, so I got another one of those. Seems like it went up $4. It's $39 now. I thought it was $35 last time I bought it. Um, but it lasted like two months, I think, so that's pretty good, I guess, but it's only one step out of the three, so that's not so good. Um, and then I, um, got a travel, I was going to get the Murad travel kit, but I got this Boskia, um, I think that's how you say it, uh, little black book, so it has the detoxifying cleanser, no pores, no shine, T-zone treatment, revitalizing black hydration gel and luminizing black mask. So, I don't really know. I mean, I need the cleanser in the... I guess, yeah, it has a cleanser, toner, and mask. So this was $48. That's pretty pricey. Um, I guess maybe we can see like what the size is. Of course, I open it upside down. Because they really, you know, so you can never, like, return it, even after you, like, open it. So, this is the hydration gel, a cooling gel moisturizer that provides ultralight hydration as it refines skin texture, brightens skin clarity, and minimizes the look of pores instantly and over time. And it says, apply a small amount in the AM and PM to cleanse and tone face. So, hey, give me a together. This is a black mask, uh, an innovative peel-off mask that helps boost skin clarity and minimizes the appearance of pores, removes dirt and impurities, absorbs excess oil, and reveals a healthy, glowing complexion. Apply a thick, opaque, even layer to clean, dry skin. Avoid eye area, eyebrows, hairline, and lips. Leave on for 30 minutes or until completely dry. Gently peel off mask from outer edges and rinse off any residue. And... So if this stuff works amazing, then that's not that bad, I guess. A uh, warming gel cleanser that deeply cleans and de detoxifies... Uh, dissolves pore clogging impurities, oil, and makeup as it refines skin texture, brightens skin clarity, and minimizes the look of pores over time. Gently massage cleanser onto damaged face to create a warming lather. Rinse clean with water. Use AM and PM. So this last one better be a toner. Well, I have some toner. A uh, multitasking treatment that instantly reduces the appearance of pores and blackheads while keeping them less visible over time. It mattifies oil, definitely need that, and shine all day as it smooths skin texture, especially since it's going to be somewhere that's super humid. Ah, uh, from desert to tropical. Um, smooth skin texture, leaving a soft focus. Silky finish. Smooth over skin, focusing on the T zone. We're under or over makeup. So that was what's in there. Maybe we'll get some better results. That's really the. They had a, another Murad travel kit, but they were all sold out of the philosophy again. Wow. Really? Big surprise. <laughs> and so then, since my birthday is like less than a month away, I got my little birthday treat, which is a Makeup Forever mm, mascara. So it just says smoke, smoky extravagant. So I have lots of sample. Ooh, I like the brush. 
Lots of uh, sample size mascaras that I haven't used up yet. I, it's probably almost time to get rid of my full size mascara. And then a little mini lipstick in a cool winter color. Does it say? Um, just says it's Artist Natural. Is that? That doesn't sound like a color. Rouge Artist Natural. Okay, so that's the color. So that's everything. Um, I don't know what's going on. Because some of the prices I've seen in the stores are like quadruple the last time I went shopping. Like I said, I try to avoid shopping at all costs, all the time, no matter what. And I also feel like this year must have been a spectacular harvest season for the people that grow pot legally and illegally. Because there is an awful lot of people shopping, spending an awful lot of money, buying an awful lot of silly overpriced stuff that I just don't understand. <laughs> don't understand. I supposedly have a professional job and I'm like, oh my god, this is killing me. Like, it hurts my heart. And, and there's traffic. I mean, unbelievable traffic for a little tiny town. And rude people and F-350s. So, I hate shopping. It makes me sad. And I thought this would be better therapy than uh, drinking some hard alcohol or something. So, there you go. I hope it makes you happy because uh, venting about my... I mean, it's like show and tell. You spend money that you should be using to pay off debt and to buy a $60,000 F-350 so you can run people over when you are forced to go shopping. Um, you know, so, there you go.